Hello Unreal Engine games designers and developers. In today's video we're going to be looking at how you can upright a vehicle after it's crashed and we'll also make sure that it works in a multiplayer environment as well. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So if you want to get the same desert and vehicle that you see in the viewport here, then you can follow the previous two videos in the playlist listed in the description below. Um, you can also, if you've just got a vehicle that you want to upright, you can just follow the instructions in this video. Uh, one of the interesting things with this vehicle is it's very difficult to actually crash it upside down to show you what the issue is. Ah, there we go. It's actually crashed at slow speed. So the problem at the moment is that once it's upside down on its side, you can still apply throttle to the wheels, but it's not going anywhere. So we need to find a way of getting the vehicle back on the right way up so you can carry on driving. So that's what we're going to concentrate on today. As I said, you can either get to this point in the video and follow along with me, or you can just fire up your project with a vehicle in and follow the same instructions. So let's come out of play mode and let's see what we need to do um, in order to get this working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the blueprint for the vehicle. Um, so if you don't have your world settings visible on the screen, go into settings, world settings first, and then go to the vehicle blueprint, which is BP pickup in my particular example and let's open it up. So there's a few ways we can do this. Um, there's probably some clever way you can detect when the car is upside down, but I'm going to keep it simple and just let the player press a button to say, I want to upright the vehicle, I've crashed, and we'll use the jump button because I'm not going to use the jump uh, input for anything else in this game. So let's find a little space in this blueprint and first thing is we'll detect when the player has pressed the jump button. So go input jump. And when the player presses the jump button, I want to start a new custom event. So let's just create a new event first. So let's say custom event. And we'll call this upright vehicle. So now we can call that when the jump button is pressed, drag off pressed and call upright vehicle. And how do we upright the vehicle? Uh, this took me a little while to figure out. I tried all sorts of things like applying some force to roll it over. Um, but eventually I found the easiest way to do this is just simply to teleport the vehicle to uh, the same location, but with the X and Y rotation set to zero. So it's the right way up. So the way we do that is we drag out here and say teleport. And the target itself, which is this pickup component. And we have to provide it with a destination location, a destination rotation. Now our location is going to stay the same. So to, in order to get that, let's drag our mesh into the blueprint with control and do get world location. And then we'll simply plug that in to the destination location. So the vehicle hasn't moved um, because it's in the same place it ever, it, it ever was. So it stays in the same place. What we need to do though is we need to if we split these structure pins, X, Y, and Z, we want X to be zero and Y to be zero. That means that it will be the right way up. The Z is the direction in which we're facing, the Z rotation. And it'd be useful to keep that the same so that whatever direction we were facing when we crashed is still the same direction we're facing. So in order to get the rotation, we'll drag off the mesh and say, get world rotation. The return value will split into our x, y, and z components. 
we don't need to use the x and the y we just want to preserve the z value the direction we were facing and drag that in and that should be enough to write the vehicle when we press the jump button so let's compile this and let's try and crash the vehicle and see if we can now write it by pressing the jump button so it might take me a while to crash the vehicle so i may pause the video and restart it once i've crashed so that i can then show you the logic for uprighting working okay great i managed to crash it first time and if I press the, the space bar for jump, you can see it's not doing anything. And there's a reason for that, because it's, it's trying to upright the vehicle, but it's actually buried in the landscape mesh. And so because it's sort of entwined there, it won't spawn or teleport the car into the new location. And there's a way around that. So let's come out, go back to the pickup. And what we need to do is we need to raise the vehicle uh, a little bit off the ground in order that those meshes of the landscape and the vehicle don't collide. So let's create a little bit of extra space here. And effectively what, what we wanna do is we want to add to the Z component of the world location um, in order to um, raise it up off the ground a little bit. So let's do an add this, or vector plus, actually vector plus vector is what we want to do. So at the moment we're adding nothing to the location. Let's take the Z location and add 100 to it, and that should suffice just to lift it off the ground slightly. So now we're raising it off the ground just before we then teleport it and it then shouldn't collide with the landscape mesh and should um, put it in that location. So let's compile it, come back to our game. And again, I will try and crash it pretty quickly. If I don't crash it in the first go, I'll pause the video until I crash it again. Okay, so we crash the vehicle on the side. And if I press the jump button, there you can see it writes itself up. And you saw that it lifted it off the ground slightly. And then puts it in the right location. But you see there's a bit of a problem happening. When I start to move, it puts itself on its side again. And the reason for that and the reason why it also wouldn't work in multiplayer is because we're actually telling the client to teleport, not the server. So what happens is the server thinks it's still on its side. The client makes it upright. And then as soon as we start to move, the server says, oh, no, you're on your side. So we need to kill two birds with one stone here. And we need to make sure that it teleports on the server and not the client and that will also mean that any other clients will see this uh, upright movement as well so it'll make it work in multiplayer so let's come out and go back to the pickup and it's very simple i mean I, I love unreal engine for the multiplayer features all we need to do is where we call the upright vehicle function select it and get it to run on the server so effectively the input action will be on the client and then the upright vehicle will run on the server and teleport on the server from where it will be replicated to the client and all the other clients in a multiplayer environment so let's uh, click on that to compile and let's just check it in multiplayer so before we launch the multiplayer version I'm just going to make sure there's more than one spawn point in here. So I'm going to click on the player start, find that. And then using the Alt key, I'm just going to drag 
multiplayer to a slightly different location. So I dragged it with the Alt key to another one as well, raised it up off the desert and pressed the N key. So I've now got some different spawn points. And with that done, I can go in with my two players, standalone game mode, press play. And let's just put this on one side and the other vehicle here. And let's have a look around. Now oh, there's the other car. So I'll try and crash this car again. If it takes a while, I'll pause the video until it's done. And then I'll show you how it looks for the other player. Okay, so I've crashed the first vehicle. Let's move over to the other player and drive up. And let's just pause there, switch back to the original, and you see when I upright the vehicle, it uprights on both screens because I've uprighted it on the server and with the wizardry of Unreal's component replication, it's made sure that that's been applied to all the clients. So that works really well. Now there's one last thing I want to do at the moment. Let's come out of here and go into single player mode. So let's go back to one player selected viewport. The one, th one last thing I want to do is, as I drive along, at the moment, there's nothing that stops me pressing the upright button at any time. You know, I can be launching and just pressing it. Now, it actually won't really show up badly, um, but it will be teleporting the vehicle unnecessarily. So let's do it so that it can only teleport the vehicle when it's almost stationary. So you're not running that logic while you're driving along. So to do that, we need to put a little bit of extra checking before while we press the jump button. So let's come out of play mode, going to the pickup. And what I want to do is I just want to check the velocity of the vehicle before I call this upright vehicle function. So to do that, I will use a get actor velocity. Actually, just get velocity. Check the vector length. up a bit and let's say I want to make sure it is less than say 20 which is virtually stationary the reason why I didn't make it zero is because sometimes the cars can wobble a bit when they're uh, upside down so they will have a slight bit of velocity and you want to be able to write them then and then finally press the B key to put in a branch node Connect this here, and the condition we're checking is this velocity less than 20. And if that's true, then we'll call the upright vehicle. So now it will only allow me to press the button when I'm going, when I'm virtually stationary. Otherwise, it will, um, it won't execute this upright vehicle logic. So again, let's compile. And nothing really would have changed here, but it won't uh, execute that upright all the time. So this was a slightly shorter video than normal. Hope you've, uh, hope you found it useful as always. And 
I'm going to do a few more videos in this uh, June driving series because, as I said, I'm having a lot of fun with using it. So we'll probably, in the next video, look at providing some sort of missions, maybe some gates or something for the multiplayers to head towards and drive through. And you see now I'm crashed on the side. I can right myself the right way up and carry on going. So as always, stay safe, test negative, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.